Oh. Oh. It's over here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Draco Malfoy 20 years after Hogwarts? He got fat and started making YouTube videos as a magician. Havada Kedavra! What's up guys? Welcome back. All right, so real quick, because I know a lot of you are just going to click on this video and then click out. Totally fine. I'm going to give you some updates and some news right now. First playing cards are being shipped. So for those of you asking, if you have not received a tracking number, it's because your package has not been shipped yet. But rest assured, they will be shipped. So I'm getting a lot of messages right now, which I completely understand. We got like 6,000 packages that's, that have to ship out. So uh, we'll get to yours. Uh, thank you so much for your patience and hang tight. Update number two, I will be in New York City this weekend. If you don't already know, at Phantasma Magic. Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Come hang out. We're gonna be vlogging, contest prizes, all that stuff. Should be a really good time. And lastly, I get a lot of messages about what I do on a daily basis. What do I, what is, what does Chris Ramsey get up to on a day uh, like this where I'm not posting videos, uh, where I'm not outperforming? What do I do? So today I'm gonna take you along on uh, one of my, one of my work days. Uh, today we got, I'm actually running late, but if, I don't even have a watch. I don't know why I did this. One, I'm meeting with some producers because I've been working for the past six months with these producers on something very special hopefully it pans out i can't give too many details right now uh, because legalities and that type of thing some type of show i could say that today we're actually looking into merch so previously as you may know i've had some uh, merch sold on teespring which was cool while it lasted but i didn't really you know get to test the fabric out before selling it or anything i'd have to actually order them i'm gonna go check out and test out some different fabrics and different cuts for tees for hats for you know all sorts of stuff that will be coming soon on a website that we are currently building that they're currently building actually i'm being a bit of because I'm sitting here talking to my camera when I should be there in a meeting right now. So before we go in, guys, if you enjoy this content and you and you like supporting what I do, uh, just go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here, obviously, and hit the notification button if you are already subscribed. Enough of that. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're here at uh, the agency that represents me for sort of like branding deals and stuff. They're a production company that works here and we're just about to go uh, check out some fabrics for the new merch line. Later we're doing like a mood board thing for, um, you know, choosing the type of fonts and whatever's gonna go on it, but super excited. This is my agent, David. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> yeah, Nick, are you oh, no, no, you're on, you're on camera now. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye. Celia, she's gonna help me oh, choose no. fabric. Celia, <laughs> Celia. No, pas Celia. She, she's gonna help me uh, design my merch. She doesn't like to be on camera. You work with YouTubers, so you have no choice. I know. Just say hi. Hi. Okay, that's enough. So this is Gabrielle. Hi. Gabrielle is the uh, one of the co-founders of the Slingshot, which is the agency that represents a bunch of YouTubers here in Quebec. And uh, we're in a bit of a hurry, so we're trying to rush and get to uh, where are we going, Gabrielle? Le Cartel, uh, who's gonna partner with us for the creation of the, the first uh, t shirts and crew necks and everything? Some models, look at the fabrics, think Ooh. about the designs. Exciting. on a merch shop, a custom merch shop with RamFam. I stopped selling on Teespring and I stopped using any other site because I was always worried about the quality. There's no quality control. Other than ordering them myself, I couldn't tell you if they were stained or if they didn't wash well or anything like that. Coming here today really is going to allow me to choose everything in terms of the merch and uh, make some really exciting designs that, uh, that I'll be able to show you guys in a few weeks. Uh, this project's moving along quite quickly. So today, like I said, choosing cuts. We chose fabrics. We're gonna go back and do a mood board and draw some ideas down with a graphic designer. And then once that gets all done, uh, obviously website and everything is being built at the moment. You guys will be, uh, if you guys want to find a way to support this channel, that would be a great way to do so. But I'll let you guys know all about that um, when we get there in due time. All right, so now you've shown me what you do. Can I show you what I do? Yeah. Have you ever seen a, have you ever seen a car trick up close? Not that close, man. Not this close? No, no, no. Like, what do you mean? Like on TV, maybe? You've yeah, seen yeah, something. yeah. Not nervous at all. Who, you? Him. Oh, him? No, no, no. No, nothing bad's gonna happen, I swear. Okay, okay. Nothing no, you'll nothing. feel now. Okay. Maybe later when you Maybe go Maybe later? Home. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? If you want, here, just take anyone. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Show the camera. You got it? Yeah. All right. Say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there, put it back. All right, so your card is somewhere in the deck, right? Yeah, yeah. Here's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to, if I snap my fingers, your card should jump. Is that your card? Nope. No. 
Looks kind of like the t-shirts you got here though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's try something else. And what if I, if I do this? Oh, that's a crap. Oh, that's the Joker. The one, yeah? chose the Joker. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is that even though the Joker um, is in the deck, it's also uh, in my yeah. back pocket. It's right oh, here. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's the same one I chose, Okay. Right? which is kind of cool here. Let's try this one more time. You see the Joker? Yeah, yeah. All right, watch. In the deck, it's already in my back pocket. You don't Which one? Me. No, it's already there. Yeah. You want to go look? Yeah. Go ahead. Come on, we don't know each other like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, here you go. Here you go. Oh, nope. No, hold on. Jeez. Try this one. Is that the one? No? How about, how about one of these? Oh, no, look over here. Ah! Okay. Good plan. No. You're asking if we can see it on camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll have to, wi you have to watch the, right the video. That's the right that goes like this. You'll have, so you have to watch the video when it comes for out. For sure, I will. <laughs> One thing I really like about this place is that they have their own little coffee bar, and the coffee is... All right, meetings are done for today. I'm in Montreal. I want to avoid some traffic, so I'm going to go say hi to my buddy, Jem C, also a vlogger out of Montreal. Uh, thing is, Jem C likes to party. He likes to party a lot. He usually sleeps in, so I tried texting him. He's not up, so I thought I'm going to go wake his ass up. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm in Montreal and I don't want to go home. I'm gonna wake his ass up. I know he went. I watched your story yesterday, so I know you went drinking. Oh, look at this setup. If you guys want to see some sick Twitch streaming on Fortnite? Check out my buddy Gem C. Good morning. Can I help myself to a guru? This is not a paid ad not on my channel anyway. See, I have no idea where today is going to lead. Feel good. How do you feel? I feel good, bro. I like, <laughs> your, I like your jacket. Thank you, man. So we're going to go to this bar. Uh, this is a Harry Potter themed bar. I think it's unofficial. I, I don't think they're actually allowed, to, but maybe they sell butter beer. I, I mean, didn't see the movie at all, guys. <gasps> I'm going to discover. <laughs> we'll hook you up. Other bars closed, so we stopped for some fish tacos. And at the same time, I noticed that there was like a gaming store around here where they sell like board games and stuff. And they also sell puzzles. I'm gonna take Jem C and try to get him to solve a puzzle. Put your, put your, put your hands out like this. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, right-handed? Yeah. Okay, put this one away, close your fist. Uh, say stop whenever you want. Right now? Right there? Yeah. Look at this card, you see it? You got it? Yeah. Watch this, Jonas. I'm gonna rip it up. Watch. Jonas, open your hand. Oh, that would have been good, right? Well, hold on. You know what? You know where this corner is? It traveled in time. It's a time traveling card. You're wearing a watch. What time is it now? Look at your watch. Look at your watch. It's no. Uh... Look underneath. No, underneath your watch. <laughs> oh my god. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you good, man. <laughs> hey, cheers. Let's see. I'm gonna buy a puzzle and I'm gonna have Gem C try and solve it. Alright, let's see what we can do. See, maybe something not too crazy. That looks crazy. Yeah, as soon as you have strings, mm. these are all Hanayama. So you got level two, you got level three, and then you go down, you got like level four, four. five, and six. Well, it's five out of six. In Hanayama, they're they're more difficult. What is this called? Cast Amul. You ready? Yeah. Alright, so we got the puzzle. I try to have my buddy Gem C solve it. They don't give you the solution in these things, so we're gonna try it out. Okay. So the whole object is to take apart these rings. It looks easy enough. They both have holes in them and then to put it back together. And this is one of those things that might be actually hard to put back together. Too. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see what I Okay. So. Uh. Looks easy, huh? Okay. Let's look at every piece. Like this. I can't force it. Oh. No. It's blocked. Oh. No. Ah. Stress out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 o
So C ball. Should sort of level there. Right, let me try it. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see here. We got two openings here and they don't move because of those things. I see what the problem is, okay. <laughs> You can't force it. It's just so silly. Okay, so here I noticed something. See this this notch? Mm -hmm. Look at that notch. Can you see that? So there's a reason that notch is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a notch on this side too. So my guess is that this ring goes over that notch, right? And on the other side, it's there as well. So I'm thinking at the same time, there we go. Got him through those notches. I feel like I'm close. Here it's not as thick. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to pass them through again. Oh, you good, buddy? I'm good. Ah, ha, ha. We're out. We've made it out. So hold on. We got one side out, which is very important. So this is, uh. There you go. There's one, and then two. There you go. There we go, my jump Kristen. Now, now we have to put it back together. Got it? There we go. Now they're officially intertwined and that is the end of this puzzle. Let's go get a drink. It says closed. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Check, check. Do you have butterbeer? You have butterbeer? Oh. What'd you get? Oh, uh, Gryffindor. I got Slytherin. And look, look, look. What happened to Draco Malfoy 20 years after Hogwarts? He got fat and started making YouTube videos as a magician. Havada Kedavra. <laughs> That's it for the vlog today. I thought I'd end this with a nice little butterbeer. Uh, first time trying butterbeer, by the way. <laughs> Rasta music, which I'll try to like mute out. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, go ahead and like it. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification button. And guys, we'll see you on the next video. In New York, by the way. Peace. Rock.